right guys, so it's cloudy now, but hopefully in about two hours time this will all have moved off, or at least that's the forecast, so we can hopefully finish off, or my plan is to finish off the fighting dragons of Ara tonight, so hopefully it all goes well. Just got the usual rig here, 80 mil refractor, Sky Rover, little SV Boney guide scope on there, 50 mil. Got my high tech Astro Dew controller here, a um, couple of Dew bands, and also got my power coming out of the high tech Astro as well for the mount and the camera. Um, what else have I got happening? Oh, yeah, I've got my little uh, mini PC here as well. Got my power box and the plastic box down there. My little power outlets. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much all, pretty much all set up to go. So the heavens hopefully will be with us and um, this is all gonna push off. Just wanna mention as well, guys, I recently got another one of these little SV Boney guide scopes. And I think they're really good value for money, these. This is a 50 mil version. I've got my 60 mil on my big Esprit scope. But yeah, I think this was like $110 or something. Um, yeah, so I got another one of these and I just sat it on here. And yeah, these things just work great for the money. So I think I've got three SV Boney guide scopes now. I've got the tiny little mini one for my portable rig and then um, the 50 for this one and then the 60 mil on my um, Esprit 120. But yeah, they just they just do the job and they're great little great little guide scopes. They often get rebranded. I'm pretty sure I've seen the same thing as Orion um, and even a couple of the retailers here in Australia. I've noticed um, looks exactly the same, but they've they've um, rebranded it under their own name. A couple of the um, astrophotography or or astronomy shops, yeah. But yeah, good little scope. Hey, g'day guys. Hope you're all going well, whichever whichever um, hemisphere you you are in at the moment and I hope your imaging is going well. Um, I think for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere, it's kind of into, I think it's into galaxy season. Um, sort of hear a lot of um, talk amongst the astrophotography channels about you guys getting into galaxy season. Um, for us, I guess we have more like, you know, it's a really good time of year to begin thinking about those Milky Way pictures for us as well. So those nice, um, you know, pictures that you can just take with your DSLR and get those nice sort of wide angle pictures. Um, of course, we've got some cool objects coming up now as well. Um, and the two I've been looking at just lately is um, the Statue of Liberty Nebula and the Fighting Dragons of Ara. So back when I started Astro, probably what is it, a year and a half ago now? I did take these two targets, but as with most things in astrophotography, or any hobby as far as that goes, um, there's a lot of room for improvement. And looking back on those now, they're okay, but you know, I can obviously do a fair bit better. So I'm gonna go back to those targets. I have finished the Statue of Liberty Nebula. I finished that one last week. You might have seen it on my Instagram posts um, and I put that one on Astro Bin and I was reasonably happy with that. I processed that one as SHO. I think um, it was one of those targets where that kind of SHO type look to it, even though I'm imaging in, in one shot color. I think um, for some of those targets, especially for that one, I just feel it looks better in that sort of fake SHO palette. Um, and there's some really good videos out there to do that. If you guys ever want me to show just a quick run through of how I do it, I'm happy to do that. But then I've also gone on to the Fighting Dragons as well. So I'm nearly gonna finish that. And tonight, hopefully, is my last night on this. Um, I'm looking to get a similar sort of time to the statue. It's been really hard to come past clear nights, especially complete clear nights. So I've been imaging these like in sort of two, three hour patches here and there, and it's just been, really difficult um but yeah i'll finish this one off tonight and we'll we'll process whatever we've got um it fits quite nicely into my field of view so this is my 80 mil sky rover refractor with the um, asi 533 pro 
and this one's got the L enhance filter on it because that's the filter I had available at the time um, and I started these two targets with. It's a good little filter anyway um, and I'd highly recommend that filter actually for anybody who wants to get into sort of the duo narrowband um, uh, filters or you know maybe for a first filter. But yeah so that's pretty much what I'm going to do tonight. I've set off my imaging plan and um, all being well, we'll get a few more hours and we can finish off this target. You can see, I can just show you here, this is just a single sub that we have. And yeah, the stars are not perfect on all of these, but if that's a single sub, I think we'll get a pretty decent result out of this because that looks, that looks pretty strong. You can really see those, those dark areas as well come through. So that's what we've got on for today in terms of imaging and um, I'll catch you a bit later and we'll, we'll see how this goes. All right guys, so everything's set up out here now got the 80 mil refractor that's on our target for tonight which is going to be the fighting dragons the mini pc has got nina on it that's what i'm remoting to out here um yeah so all we really need to do now is um is leave this guy running and hopefully we'll get enough exposures to sort out this target just to show you guys what i've got here i've got one main cable here that's coming out going to the camera which is anchored from here I try and keep the cabling as neat as I can it's a bit tricky sometimes I've got the mini PC that's just um, onto that sort of eyepiece holder that just stays that just stays pretty much strapped onto there um, and the power box is just in a plastic box down here with the power transformer which goes up to the um, high-tech Astro Dew heater which is clipped on to one side and that's where the power to the mount and the camera goes from that duty heater as well it's got two power outputs on it so this system um, this system works pretty well it means I can just disconnect um, I basically just disconnect this one cable um, and I disconnect the two dew bands and pretty much carry the whole thing inside at the end um, in the morning which makes it um, pretty easy so I try and leave as much as I can on the mounts themselves um, so I can you know just take the scopes off um, and that's pretty much how I manage it anyway um, we're gonna leave this going um, thanks very much for joining me and we'll pick this up when we've actually got an image to work with so thanks a lot and um, I'll catch you catch you on the next video guys always appreciate you watching always appreciate you um, coming along for these little these little journeys these little outings into <laughs> into outer space should we say so um, yeah Hopefully we'll get a good result out of this one as well. Get something dramatic on these dragons. So thanks again and I'll see you guys soon.